antenna coupler or tuner as they are otherwise known. What is it? What does it do? And why would you need one? So I think the best way to describe this thing is when you're setting your SWR um, for CB radio, you know, you do it on channel one and you do it on channel 40. Um, what you're basically trying to do is get your antenna length um, right in the middle of those channels. So channel one technically requires a different antenna length than channel 40 does for a true zero SWR. Um, and if you're running, you know, a few hundred watts or a thousand watts or something, maybe you don't need an exact true SWR because, you know, the amount of power that's coming back down your coax isn't that big of a deal. But so, all right, if you think about it this way, if you start running, uh, running some power, well, not only does it multiply your output, but it also multiplies the amount of power that's getting reflected down your back down your cable and into your radio. So if let's say you're running four watts and you have a very small percentage of power coming back down your wire, uh, not a big deal. Well, let's say you're doing 100 watts. Well, that amount of power gets multiplied some, but still not a big deal. Well, let's say you're getting into the 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, you know, watts of power, which I'm not doing, definitely not an issue I have at the moment, but, you know, there's guys that do. Well, all of a sudden, that amount of power coming back down your cable is, goes from a small amount to a substantial amount, and that's where this thing comes in. So what you're able to do with these tuners is, or coupler, is you can take an antenna that is, the SWR is out, it's not correct, and you can tune it in with these things. Um, it's actually fairly easy how to do it. It's, uh, your ground noise is basically the static in the background. Uh, what you do is you just go room, you take, you go with your inductance here, and you Flip it through the chat. Flip it through the uh, options there, and when you get to your highest ground noise, which means you, you the static sounds the loudest, that's when you're on the right inductance, and from that point, you can start adjusting your transmitter or your load match to get. And as you're doing that, you know you, you're have, you're checking your SWR. You'll be able to watch your SWR meter when you adjust these knobs you'll be able to watch you'll be able to tune that SWR right in you'll get it right on and you'll when you're running a lot of power you need to have that SWR right on because if you don't uh, well you're not going to be running power long so that's where these guys come in if you need a tr you know an absolute dead-on match for SWR which if you're running power, a lot of power, um, that's where these guys come in.